Hello, Douglas County. It's Friday, July 30th, 2021. And I'm Rick Martin, Director of Communications and Community Relations for Douglas County and the Public Information Officer for the Fire Department. Welcome to today's edition of COVID-19 Update with Dr. Janet Meemark, District Director of Cobb and Douglas Public Health. Welcome, Dr. Meemark. Thanks, Rick, for having me today. Uh, happy that you're here. Dr. Meemark, I hear that the COVID numbers are continuing to increase in Douglas County. What are the current numbers? Yeah, so um, I, I hate to come and tell everybody this now, but you know we are now in the midst of probably uh, our fourth surge is what we're going to call it. So um, we have 330 cases per 100,000. And so you, you all remember when we were probably below 50 for a little while, um, but we are now in high transmission. We have been for the last few weeks. Um, but our um, positive percentage rate is 14.7%. And so that is very high right now. And so we have some very, very high community transmission that's happening. What are hospitalizations like? Unfortunately, there's not a lot of good news there either. And so we are seeing as of today, there's more than 13 times the number of patients that we had seen and at our low points um, for COVID. And so the emissions just keep rolling in. And so we are not quite at the um, the peak that we had in the winter surge, but you know, it, we were well on the way and they seem to just keep adding on every single day. Dr. Meemark, is the Delta variant still playing a role? Yeah, so this is what's been think, um, thought to be pushing all of this. And so um, numbers from the CDC show that we had over 80% of the um, uh, uh, virus um, sequences that were coming in that were Delta variant. And it is thought that in Georgia, it is the same and is playing a role here. What's um, very difficult about the Delta variant is that it is over 200% more transmissible or contagious than the original virus. And so it is very, very good at getting around. And what it's doing right now is really going after unvaccinated people. And so what we're seeing is younger folks that are being hospitalized and people who just did not take the vaccine. And so we're really seeing people um, that are getting hit hard by this. So what about vaccinations? What are your numbers for Douglas County residents who are vaccinated? Yeah, so we've gotten to 40% for Douglas County. And it's a great time to remind, remind folks that we have um, vaccinations every day um, at the Selman Drive location um, during the week. And then if you need some weekend times, you can take a look at our website for some outreach. It is still not too late to get the vaccine. Um, I'm gonna you know, just go over a couple of things. I know there's some concern that we've been seeing some breakthrough cases um, from the Delta variant on, um, on vaccinated folks. So yeah, that is happening in a small percentage of folks. They are able to get um, uh, breakthrough infections. But what's really important to, to know here is that um, even though you may get an infection, the, the Delta variant, um, your chance of dying or being hospitalized is still very rare. It is the overwhelming majority of folks in the hospital that are unvaccinated. And so this is what that vaccine was meant to do, right? So we're meant to, to prevent death and hospitalization, and it is doing that very effectively. It is not too late. So please get vaccinated if you can. So how are numbers, how is Douglas County, if we're at 40%, how are we doing compared nationally? You know, nationally, they're still um, hovering around the, um, um, for both vaccines, still under four, um, 50%. So we're still below that. And, um, you know, we really need to get those numbers up, you know, closer to 70, really to be able to um, have good um, protection for everybody. So we need to keep trying to get folks vaccinated as best as we can. So speaking of vaccinations, I know Cobb and Douglas Public Health continues to offer the COVID vaccine for free at the Douglas Public Health Center on Selman Drive. How's that going there? Yeah, so, you know, we're say, seeing a steady but slow number of folks that are coming in. So you can come in. It is absolutely free. You do not need to make an appointment. Just walk up. It's 8 to 5, Monday through Friday. If you need some, um, you know, after hours, you can look on the website. Our outreach team moves around to different areas to try to get other folks, and especially when we, they have some, act, um, you know, community activities and stuff, trying to get people in. So it is very important. They offer the Pfizer vaccine for people that are 12 and 
and over. So very important. It is extremely safe and, and not many side effects at all. So please try your best to get vaccinated. That's right. I know we're really trying to encourage everyone to get vaccinated. I'm vaccinated. My wife's vaccinated. My two teen daughters are vaccinated. They're above 12 years of age. So we want to encourage everyone, please get vaccinated. Yeah, so, you know, you make a really good point. So, you know, I know that you have like um, some asthma problems. And so it's very important that, you know, your whole family is also vaccinated. So in my family as well, you know, we're all vaccinated except one. So my son is not 12 yet and he will be going to school and wearing a mask. But there is some protection that we're able to afford. Even if he were to get it, we pray it would be a, a mild infection if he got it. But there's also that decreased fear that he's going to, you know, inadvertently give it to somebody here that might, you know, end up being hospitalized or dying, like his grandmother who takes care of him most of the time. And so that it, it gives me a sense of security knowing that at least my mom is vaccinated, you know what I mean? And me, who's yes. almost 52, that, you know, that we're vaccinated. Vaccinated, so it makes us feel a little bit safer than you know having being open to the Delta variant and letting them letting it take over on us, you know. So, Dr. Meemark, new CDC guidelines were recently released regarding masks, just like this. And I want to let people know they're easily available. Can you give us some details on that? Yeah, so there is some new guidelines. So remember now, um, each of these variants and this COVID-19 um, virus, um, all of this stuff is new. And so the data that we collect, the CDC is collecting the information as it comes in. And, and so what we're finding about the Delta variant in particular is that it is, I mentioned before, very transmissible, over 200% more contagious. Now there is, and we mentioned it before, that there is a chance of having breakthrough infection in vaccinated folks, although it is still low compared to unvaccinated, it is still there's still a chance, right? And what they're finding is that, you know, potentially those folks can still transmit the virus to others. And so this virus is, we did not see this in the other variants and the other virus. This one has, has been able to adapt now and it gets, you know, it gets smarter and smarter. So that's why we have a lot of these changes. And so one of the changes is that, you know, if you are unvaccinated, you've got to wear your mask, make sure that you're, you know, in public places, you're wearing your mask, right? Now for vaccinated folks though, it is recommended that if you are in a high transmission area, like Douglas County is, that when you go in public places, you should wear your mask as well. And so this is important. So just you're, you are fairly safe that you won't get it, but that if you do and you're asymptomatic or have have a mild, um, mild symptoms that you can't pass it to others. So this is why it's important while we're in high transmission. So very important. Now, the other thing is if we are in, maybe we're not in high transmission and we all pray we'll get out of high transmission, you know, in the next few weeks. Um, if we're at a high transmission, if you have family members at home that were unable to get vaccinated or are immunocompromised or have, you know, a lot of chronic medical conditions that make them maybe a little bit more susceptible to this, then you probably want to wear your mask anyway, just to protect your family members, just in case you get it and you don't want to give it to them. Okay. So those are the main changes that we're seeing. And if you go to our website, we've tried to update it to show you where the transmission level is for Cobb and for Douglas County. And so um, we change that every day and it's color coded so it can show you, you know, what, what the transmission level is and what you should do during that time. Oh, that's great information. Thank you, Dr. Meemart. One question on top of everyone's mind is related to schools. In Douglas County, schools, students are returning next week. Should masks be mandatory? Yeah, so um, so that's a great question. So I, you know, I don't have the authority to make any of those decisions, but it is the recommendation from the CDC that all K through 12 students should be wearing a mask indoors. And so, and especially when we have transmission over 300% right now, and so many unvaccinated folks, we have 60% of Douglas County that is unvaccinated right now. So to let this keep going when hospitals hospitalizations are rising and then to put all these kids back in circulation again it's a very dangerous situation so my recommendation is that all children in school should wear masks and that is during this time like I said let's all pray 
and we get that the transmission level to drop back down and we go back to a lower transmission level and maybe we can open it up a little bit more. But in the meantime, to add fire onto or fuel onto this fire right now is a very dangerous situation. So we, my recommendation to all parents, you know, is please mask your kids up before you send them to school. And especially if you have people at home that are unvaccinated or maybe obese or have diabetes or any lung issues, please, this is, this is critically important. Understood, and we hear you loud and clearly. Is there anything else you would like to say to the residents of Douglas County? You know, we, we've been through this several times before and, and um, and I know this is this is hard for everybody, but you know we can bring this back down again. We have done it. We have done it before, and we know what to do. And I think what we need to know this time is it's not permanent, right? So if we can mask up, get vaccinated, and not you know do risky behaviors, we can bring this back down and protect our community. So we just got to all do it together and just you know give a little bit of push to bring it down and get rid of this thing. Dr. Meemark, I can't thank you enough. Thank you so much for joining us and helping inform Douglas County citizens. Thank you so much. Thank you, Rick. I appreciate it.